Here's a little something for the furries. Painting up some Malifaux boar figures, and so we're going to be painting fur. And it's mostly just dry brushing it, which I thought we covered in the dry brushing video, but we're going to go over with fur because there are some slight variations you can do. Uh, we are starting off with Vallejo Model Color Camo Black Brown and doing a very heavy coat just to cover everything right now. Uh, when you are dry brushing, you uh, generally want to use the largest, flattest brush you can get away with. I um, actually need to pick up a new one myself, so I'm using a round here, uh, which is not as effective. Um, but my old dry brush kind of got um, destroyed. They last a long time, but eventually, you know, you wear them down to a nub. Our next color is Vallejo Model Color uh, Burnt Umber. And as we go through this, you'll kind of see uh, a change in the way uh, the dry brushing happens. As you begin, you can be very heavy with the dry brush, almost more of a scrubbing uh, motion, like you're scrubbing dried food off a pan or something like that. But as we get into later stages, uh, if you notice the, the brushwork is a lot more lighter, uh, slower, a bit more cautious. But uh, this is going over everything. Uh, as with dry brushing, uh, the goal is to put the paint on the raised surface areas, not in the recesses. So you fill up your brush with paint, you scrub back and forth on a paper towel a couple times, and then uh, start dry brushing with it. If you start filling in the recesses, it means you got too much paint on your brush. You need to go back, scrub a little more, paint off, and continue on. And for our next highlight, we are mixing in Vallejo Model Color Flat Earth. Uh, this is actually more flat earth, which is a little bit of burnt umber mixed into it. And continuing the process, just moving upwards towards the highlight areas on the figure. Uh, when you have something kind of like this where the hair goes in different directions. I mean, you should be, for the most part, going against the grain. Uh, if you go with the grain, you're more likely to uh, fill in that detail. So if you notice on the main body, I'm tending going up and down, but then on the main, I'm going back and forth. Now on to straight flat earth. And I am using a lot of colors uh, a wide selection of colors on this figure, uh, not because it's necessary, but mainly because I don't know where I want to go with it. Uh, you can just dry brush, you know, one step and realize, well, you know, I want a bit more color to it and just dry brush another step over it. And that's totally fine. I mean, you can dry brush with just three colors or you can dry brush with, uh, I don't know how many we have here, but seven or eight. Um, you know, it's just redoing it and making it a little lighter. Next is Vallejo Game Color Leather Brown. And see, we're being more softer with the brush here, uh, smaller areas. Generally, when highlighting, I always tell people each successive highlight goes on a smaller and smaller area, reaching towards the highlights. However, when painting fur, especially natural uh, animal fur, um, there's a lot of color variation in the fur. It's not all just one color. So I'm actually drawing some of these later uh, dry brushing highlights uh, further into the darker areas just to get some variation of the color uh, So it's it's not quite the same as a regular highlight Now on to Vallejo game color plague brown and here you can see in two examples of things I mentioned before um, first of all the lighter uh, hand of the dry brush just kind of delicately going over pieces and also uh, as I mentioned, bringing those upper highlights uh, further into the uh, darker areas of the miniature just to get a bit more, um, bit more variation, more natural fur color uh, to the overall coat. So not necessarily just keeping those highlights progressively smaller and smaller like we would if we were layer layering. Um, it does make it a bit more interesting. And then finally reaching the last dry brushing step, plague brown mixed with some model color uh, beige and just a very delicate dry brush over the top main and some of the areas uh, where I want a bit more highlight or a bit more color variation uh, to the fur. 
Again, I use quite a few layers here. You don't necessarily have to use as many, but it does mean there's a lot of color transition, uh, even though some of those uh, layers probably got uh, lost or overcoated at some point. But uh, I think it came out pretty good so far. We're going to be talking about dry brushing fur here, and so I really didn't want to spend too much time on other parts of the animal. However, I'll go ahead and uh, finish up some of this figure. Uh, painting the snout area, um, on a board it's still covered with fur, but however I wanted a bit more, uh, again, color variation, a bit more variety to the figure, so I wanted something a bit more fleshy. So the snout, the mouth, the ears, and a little bit around the eyes, uh, going back over that with uh, Vallejo Camo Black Brown. And then for the base coat, we are using a tri-mix of Camo Black Brown, Flat Earth, and Model Color Beige Red. Uh, Camo Black Brown is to bring it up from the shade. The Flat Earth is to give it some of the color that we used on the fur. And the Beige Red is to give it a bit more of a fleshy, uh, pig-like color to it. And then we just continue to add more and more beige red to that previous mix for each additional highlight. We are of course layering now and not dry brushing, uh, but continuing to add more until we get to just straight beige red towards the tip of the nose. So with that, we are done with this bore. However, we're going to paint two more here just to give you some ideas on different colors you can use on fur and a bit different techniques you can also use. For board number two, starting off the same as we did before, uh, this time using Vallejo model color Chocolate Brown. Then we are mixing in some Vallejo game color Beastie Brown to the Chocolate Brown. Uh, kind of wanted a, a red fur uh, for this one so he stands out from the brown one. Then we work up to straight Beastie Brown. And yeah, I'm speeding through these because this is the exact same method so far that we used on the first figure. We're just using different colors right here, but the whole progression is exactly the same. Then we have Beastie Brown mixed with Parasite Brown. Definitely getting into more of the red tone here. And when I say red, of course, I'm meaning a, a natural red color. Um, not a, a bright, intense red. Then our next color is Vallejo model color Golden Yellow. No, of course not. It's just Parasite Brown. You've gotten the process here so far. You know when we mix one color with the previous color that the new color is going to be going solo next. You all know that. Then we have Parasite Brown mixed with Game Color Plague Brown. Starting to lose track of all these colors, people. There's a lot of colors used in this video. And next layer, we are dry brushing. No, wait. We're not dry brushing. Oh my god, something different! We are now washing, actually. This is Vallejo Game Color Brown Ink, and we are applying a wash towards the recesses, altering the color, uh, adding a bit more uh, detail and contrast here and there. Uh, if you are dry brushing, and uh, this is also good if you accidentally filled in some areas, you can go back over those with a wash. Uh, in this case, uh, decided it was going a bit too orange for me. I wanted to uh, bring the color back down to a bit more of a natural brown, so... Uh, Applying a, a light sort of glaze over most of the figure and also giving a bit more color, a um, bit more darker color to the recesses. So, uh, brown ink wash kind of here and there. Uh, again, on a few different areas, getting a bit more variation to the figure as well as adding additional shade. As soon as that wash is dry, we're going to go, go ahead and apply a second ink wash this time with some black mixed into the brown. And again, repeating the process that we did before, uh, just uh, darkening areas where I want a bit more dark, 
darker, uh, where I bet want a bit more shade or a bit more uh, variation to the figure. Uh, just again, uh, it's the reversal of the dry brushing, uh, just darkening areas rather than lightening them. Uh, but with that, that's our last coat on the bore. Uh, I'm gonna skip over painting um, the fleshy bits on the front, the ears and the snouts, because you've already seen that. Suffice it to say, it's just the base colors once again, uh, mixed with beige red to uh, bring it up to that fleshy tone. Finally, on to our third and final bore, which we are gonna be painting black. Uh, undercoat, of course, is black. I'm actually doing this straight over the primer. And the first highlight dry brush is Vallejo uh, Camo Black Brown, because uh, black animals, uh, especially fur animals, uh, I generally like to add a little bit of brown to the black, because I think it adds a, it looks a bit more natural rather than a jet black highlighted with blues or something like that. And also it applies for uh, you know, dirt and other things that furry animals will pick up in the wild. Now here's where things get a little bit strange. Uh, for this dry brushing layer, I have a tricolor mix of model color black, Vallejo game color shadow gray, and Vallejo model color yellow ochre. So black is a tone things down, shadow grays add a little bit of blue highlight uh, to the uh, black fur, and the yellow ochres add a little bit more of that brown warmth that I like on my fur. This is the same mix again, just with uh, more yellow ochre added. And people always ask me, you know, they want to see a video on how to highlight black. And the reason I haven't done it is because there's so many different ways to highlight black. And I really haven't found a method that I'm 100% happy with. I'm always changing things up. Uh, adding yellow ochre and shadow gray to black to highlight it. I just came up with that on the spot and it actually came out pretty well on this figure. It won't apply to all black, but uh, again, a video on highlighting black, I mean, there's a dozen different ways you can do it. And uh, I can't do a dozen videos on painting one color. And here we have, again, the same mixture this time, which is a tiny spot of beige added to it. And uh, as always with painting black, you don't want to go uh, too excessive on the highlights. Uh, with fur, you can go a little bit overboard, again, accounting for uh, variations in the fur color and dirt and uh, other factors, but uh, it's very easy to uh, lose black and then start moving into gray or a different color. And then we finish up with a wash of black paint, not black ink. Uh, because, as I just said, I thought I was losing the black a little bit, and so there were some areas I wanted to tone back down uh, and give it uh, well, more of a black tone. And the reason why I'm using paint here rather than ink um, is because the paint has a tendency to uh, stick more, a bit more uniform over the entire uh, figure, uh, especially when you're doing something textured like this. So the black gets evenly distributed where I want it. If I was using a black ink, it would have more of a tendency to rest in the recesses and ignore the highlights. So uh, using this, well, it's more of a glaze wash uh, ink or a thin layer, I guess you can call it too. Uh, it's gonna be a bit more uniform and it's gonna stick where I want it. And there you have it. Our Boar Trio is all done. Three different colors. Gave you color recipes. Uh, hopefully gave you a bit more instruction on how to dry brush fur. Uh, again, it's not quite the same as layering, of highlighting on um, any other thing. Fur is slightly different because you want to bring those higher dry brush uh, layers a little bit further into the recesses for a bit more color variation and also um, how to add washes to fur as well. You can actually, I didn't do it here, but you can actually paint uh, fur using exclusively washes if you want to start off with a really light beige color, something like that, and just do progressively more and more and darker washes as you move into the recesses. Um, that works a little bit better with feathers, I feel, than fur, but 
you have options there are things you can do so um that's about it there you go for your how to paint black video hope that works out uh all three of these guys took me about an hour in total to paint so hooray for me got something done really fast uh, mainly because again dry brushing is very quick you don't have to wait that long for the paint to dry uh, and these were all mostly just one color so uh, that is it thanks for watching see you next time